Awesome, now we come to the section 2 of our TeamSpeak 3 tutorial. We're going to start with port forwarding before we get the domain name. To do so, we go into Start and type in CMD and press Enter. Now, to get our uh, router IP, we type in config backslash all. Press Enter again. And depending on the amount of Ethernet cards you have, it might take a while to find it. And here we go. S look under default gateway and I can see my router's IP is 10.0.0.1. Go into my browser and type in that. Now you will know your username and password so I'm not going to really touch on that. Depending on the type of router you have port forwarding will be slightly different to in this tutorial. To get um, port forwarding tips on your router you go to www.portforward.com and once there you click on router list and you'll be presented with a whole web page of different makes of routers and you'll be able to port forward. Also if you need help you can contact me on my blog which will be displayed at the end of this tutorial. Now for for um, tutorial sake I'll just show you what it's like to port forward, what you'll have to do and maybe you'll be able to do so without using the portforward.com website. I'm just going to configuration virtual server and then add virtual server. The application name can be anything, TS3 server, I'll name it. Protocol, I use TCP backslash UDP. U the external port I'll use is 9987, which is the default port for TeamSpeak 3 servers. And just copy that to all the fields. And the internal IP address would be the PC that I want to make the server that PC's LAN address on the network. So if I go back to my CMD window, I can see my internal or LAN IP address is 10.0.0.2. Now that that's done, I click apply and that will save the information to my router. And so my PC would be successfully able to communicate through the router to the internet. Now that the port forwarding side's done, we can go and get our free domain name. Now what we do, we go back to Google, Google, type in dynamic DNS and press enter. As you can see it's the top link, dynamicdns.com. On the right hand side you click sign in and if you haven't got an account it's free and quick to create one. Just go create an account link there. But I however do, just type in your username and password. and log in and wait for the page to load. Now that we're on the My Account page, you can see under Services, if we go click on My Hosts, and we click Add New Host. Here we go, we enter any host name you want to use. As you can see, the extension is quite a long range of different posts you can use for your website and for your TeamSpeak 3 server. Under the service type you just click host with IP address. IP address um, you just click this link under it which says your current location's IP. If you are behind a proxy that will that won't work so make sure that you aren't that you're surfing via your normal internet and then clicking that link will just put your current IP into the IP address field. Don't worry about mail routing and what would you like to use this host for. Under there you can just say web server or web page or game server depending on what you choose and say add to cart. This whole process for this domain is free so don't worry about any credit cards or banking details. As you can see order total zero dollars. We we'll click next again and activate services. Now I've already created an account on my 
account so if you look under host services there's my current host info this is the URL that I'm going to use to connect to my TeamSpeak 3 server as you can see I just filled out the same information before now that I have the host name I can copy that and create a new text document and save it or email it to my friends now that that's up I want to download a dynamic DNS updater what this does is it helps people with dynamic IP addresses um, it will help you just be able to still use your custom domain name now what you do you just go Google type in dynamic DNS updater as you can see the top link is the link to the dynamic DNS and on the right hand side you'll see the download now now I've already, already downloaded it and installed it so all I have to do is go into my tray icons and click my dynamic DNS updater as you can see you'll pre be presented with this window as well when you first downloaded it as you can see my username CompuGeek my password which was entered there update the status make sure at any time that this is on if it's not on and your IP address does change your domain name will not work as well as make sure you tick the little checkbox next to your domain name and so it refreshes that domain with your IP as you can see status good which means that everything's updating normally now that that's done and I have my custom domain name I can go to my TeamSpeak 3 client as you can see here my TeamSpeak 3 server is still open so it should be up if we go connections connect type in my uh, the address that I want to use which is compugeek.game-host.org the port and any nickname that I want to use and connect and as you can see I've just connected via the internet to my TeamSpeak 3 server also take note that connecting with a different nickname won't have any effect on your server admin status as this is uh, determined using your new unique ID that's specific to your PC and that is all for this TeamSpeak 3 tutorial if you need any more information or help you can contact me at my blog www.compugeekza.blogspot.com